One of the most exciting parts of Halo 4 is really this team that we brought together. It's a team that brings a lot of talent and a lot of past accomplishments, and I think we all came together and we were so excited about the things that we set out to do. It's been a challenge to not be able to talk about it. This thing that we've been hiding and keeping under our covers is finally let loose. This is a really important E3 for us, both as a studio and, and also as the first announcement of, of Halo 4. I mean, we've been building the, the background and the, the fabric for this story for years. What does it feel like for him to come back, for Master Chief to come back, and for us to really enter this new generation of his journey? There's a lot of people out there that you know, may not have seen the legendary ending of Halo 3, may not know that there is still a story to be told. Every novel that you've read in the last couple of years, every comic book, the terminals in Halo Anniversary Edition, Everything is feeding directly into the, the story for the next Halo trilogy. It's, it's daunting. You know, you've got this, this franchise that means so much to so many people. Um, it's got 10 years of history behind it, uh, incredible stories, incredible experiences, and we have to live up to all of that. The importance of the trilogy isn't, oh, we have this whole plan that involves, we want three of these things. It's, we have an incredibly rich story to tell. Right, and what it means for, for the Chief to evolve um, is just going to take that long. Nothing is being done sort of haphazardly. We're always keeping that eye on the horizon of where we want this story to go. Gathered a, a huge pool of talent of every stripe and all of those people are just channeling this incredible amount of passion and energy and talent into a thing that they already loved. The pressure that this team puts on itself to be great and to, to try and achieve excellence is that's, that's the primary engine.